Hey guys, my name. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sienna. What? Hey guys, it's me, Sienna, and today we're on part five of the quarry. I really hope that you guys are loving it so far. It's starting to get real intense, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm actually scared. Like from that last part, just the little, little sneak peek we saw the whatever it is, whatever creature it is. I was like. Oh, I literally, werewolves don't really scare me all that much. So I was like, oh, I'll be okay. You know, it's not gonna be that scary. Girl, what the hell? Oh, wow. Wow. So we've already been playing for six and a half hours. That is freaking insane to me. Is that even right? No, I don't think that's right. Is that right? It was, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast. And, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just... Oh, Abby. Poor Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Yeah. Drawing what? Exactly. Uh, can you draw what attacked you? She's the perfect person to be able to replicate it. <laughs> Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, bro. Did I get... Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's, it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's what they always do. You know what? I took like three medical courses and none of them taught me how to actually treat a wound. <laughs> I really want Nick and Abby to survive, so we're gonna try our best. You're okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck that. We should amputate. What the? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? I mean, that's what the John Cena looking guy did, but what the actual, I don't think we're freaking equipped. Frustrated, you're an idiot, dismissive, why? I'm gonna ask him, like, what is your thought process, why princess? Would you do that? I don't know, man, look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? <laughs> do I look like a doctor? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I don't know if I want to call out, to be honest. I really don't want to. Who's there? Shh. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> be careful. Oh, sh- I don't want to shoot if there's nothing there. It was probably nothing. Yeah. I want to at least be able run. to identify it. Yeah, you better run! <laughs> you guys! Very brave. Alright. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Oh, God. Oh my god, I'm so scared, I literally can't see. There's like a person Wait, right- no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot! Oh, okay. Shiz. I'm here to save you. <laughs> Holy shit. He looks crazy right Nick. now. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. 
Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Questioning what happened to you? Concerned, where's Emma? I would be concerned. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Eh. Oh, Ex yeah, no. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super. Like, no one's explaining what they've each been through to one another, so everyone's just oh, really confused Jesus right Christ, now. I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, because it was like all... Oh, bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, Dude we gotta protect Nick and Emma. You're a bad shot. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! I let it go. What the fuck? Bro. No, fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. Yeah, I mean, more people need it, right? <laughs> I think I Jacob sorry. should stick with them. And this then, like, bullshit. three and three or something. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Oh, yeah, wheelbarrow time. Bum, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. You guys, oh my god. Okay, so some of you had played this. You guys let me know that you had already played it and you wanted to see my reaction. I'm glad you guys are excited to see my reaction. I'm Here's honored. Here's for you. What's got two thumbs? and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here. Just a front flash. On a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Man, she's brave. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Explorer venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. It's really pretty out there, but damn, I'd be so scared. Girl, oh, we have to play as you. Oh. <laughs> I really hope this is safe, but we know that old man is like kind of lurking around. Let's see what's in here. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, 
I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Oh. Yeah. You poor soul. All right. Let's try to... I'm sure there's a tarot card around here, too. Somewhere. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. Miss girl, if there's someone up there, I oh my god. That point. <laughs> you know what? I think they have good intentions, both of them, though. So maybe it's a good thing. They can explain what's going on here. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded Cute. itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? Okay. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. I, I don't want to go down there. I mean, high ground's safer, right? I mean, even if that man's up there, I would rather be... Over there with him, the old man. Then whatever's down that path. You hear me? Oh, we're going this way. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and... What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Dude, one time I was gardening at school and got like, I, I had to have been an inch and a half splinter right through like this part of my finger and it went sideways in. And then the school nurse, literally, I was like, oh my God, I was so squeamish, right? She pushed it in further. She pushed it in further. So that thing, I was stuck with it. You could physically see it under my skin. It was under like a lot of layers of skin. It was there for, it had to have been there for like a month or two. Oh, God, no. Oh. I saw a lot of you guys like Abby, I'm happy. We all like Abby, we, we love Abby. Sweet girl. Let's take a look. What's out there? Oh. This part's easier to control than the opening intro part as, um, Laura. Is there anyone there? I see any movement. Oh, this is a creepy pathway, though. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Annoyed, compassionate. Compassionate for sure. I hope Abby's okay. 
She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But I don't know why she did that. Care. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. If she only knew. This game is, oh, man, it's gorgeous. Uh, I saw some of you guys came over from the Cory trailer reaction I did, so welcome to the channel. Happy to have you guys here. Let's look in first. Oh, look. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Is that the... What's the space? And here we are, as promised. I remember his one name. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Yeah. Jeez. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we God, she's brave. Someone else's belongings, or do we open? The spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no right answers. Well, if we search the bag, we might be vulnerable, but we might be able to find a weapon. If we open the trap door, that's just like Pandora's box. I'm gonna try to find something. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Does, she doesn't have shoes on right now, bruh. There we go, we got a weapon! Fun. Okay, so... I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Speak for yourself, lady. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. What the hell is that? Use bear spray. Bear spray? Uh, taser. Taser, taser, taser! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so ugly! <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaking ugly! What is that? What is that? Damn, Emma, you're better. Oh my god, look at her! Uh, how are we like six and a half hours in? I feel like we just started this game. Oh man, what the hell? Spray! Hell yeah! I mean, I don't know if I like Emma's character, but... 
I want to keep everyone alive. What do they want me to do? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I can go through that window right there, so let's just do the trapdoor. <laughs> monster I've ever seen in my entire life. This is way worse than Village. You guys, who let who let me play this? Uh. Easy. I got it. He's okay. I really wish she grabbed those keys. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh my god, he's gonna turn! Come on, come on. Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> <laughs> oh yay, Taro! This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Optimistic, cautious. Uh, cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't nah. know. Like, what if it got a taste? That would be like my thought. I don't know. It's gonna track them down. I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Brian. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Dude. Come on. I don't know we'll about that. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I, I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Hopeful, paranoid. I think I would want to be as optimistic as possible just so everyone stays calm. But it looks pretty bad. I gotta we lie. don't know that. No, it it's looks pretty true. bad. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We he could have rabies or something. Why he could. Optimistic? Dude, rabies I'm are so scary. Realistic. We got to call for help. Who should I call? Uh Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Both? <sighs> Ah, determined or curious. I don't know. I think if you call them and explain the situation, they would know what to do. So, Just call the cops. Cops. 
with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are, so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah. And medical. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. What? Dismissive, suspicious. Suspicious. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. I used to have a Hello what Kitty landline in my room. That's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? <laughs> Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. A uh, aggressive, calm. I'm going to say it's only temporary just to calm him down. I will put it but... back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just I agree with that. careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Gee yeah, whiz. We should probably leave that with Caitlin. Yeah. Agreed. Defensive, aggressive. I don't want to be either. I would rather Caitlyn have the gun, to be honest. I don't want to be aggressive. Just be defensive, I guess. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Yeah, I'd rather have it. Give. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. <laughs> Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupted something? <laughs> Miss girl, this gun is for you. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Emma! I feel like that thing can crawl. Like, scale walls and everything. God, she's brave. Real slowly. Uh, real quickly. Slowly? It didn't look like it was that far away, right? God, it's loud. Oh my god, it's so scary, I can't. It's literally so scary. It's so scary. <gasps> yes, I'm up. I do kind of like how tough she is though, not gonna lie. Like, how is she that composed after seeing that thing? I don't know. So, for the people that have played Until Dawn, do you think the Wendigo were scarier than that thing? I'd like to know. Let me know. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, should we see more oh. this time? I don't know what you guys At think. time again, is it? Strength. Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? What do you guys think? Ah! I said, uh, see more when Jacob was all... And I don't know if I like that. But maybe, maybe we should, you know? Maybe we should. Oh god. Oh, that's only good. So it's like Nick tricking out John Cena. Again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. All right, we just completed chapter four. I think I'm going to just make these like an hour long. I think. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I brought you this. That was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Grateful, compassionate. Grateful or compassionate. Grateful or compassionate. I like both options. I'll say grateful. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Just so Thanks she's... Not no, stressed no, I, out. I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. 
that helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, they found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Well, they have two. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Oh! I don't think it's good to ever speak up. Oh my god, no. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. Oh, girl! Reassuring, cautious. I really want them to be staying together, but Nick's obviously not in any condition, and Abby's like, she cares about him, so. I trust Caitlyn. I think she'd be fine going up there. Maybe. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be cautious, actually. You know what's out there? It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. I guess she's going anyways. Oh my god, Abby's so cute. <laughs> I don't think he would hurt us. I don't know if sneaking up on him's the best idea. But I'm really hoping if we start getting attacked by that thing that he's there to defend us. Or at least be like bait. <laughs> yeah, see, they're looking out for their best interest. Obviously, they don't know that and they just look like creeps, but... Did I not wait long enough? Oh fuck! I mean, maybe if these people are better at communicating that, hey, we need to like camouflage you or whatever they're doing with that blood in order to save you, not to be all creepy and be in their lodge. 
may not be My the best gosh. thing to say, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what what are you saying? Insecure, confident. I'm pouring my heart out here. Oh! <gasps> Don't worry about Caitlyn. Ugh. Um, confident. We need morale high right now. <laughs> Don't worry about Caitlyn, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Intrigued, bitter. Intrigued, bitter. Intrigued, bitter sounds kind of rude. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Oh god, he's getting like possessed by just... whatever that thing is. You did too. The aggression? That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> Did want it to happen though. Oh my god, this is so sad now. He's getting um, turned. You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> oh jeez. What's going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh god. I feel like he's oh dead god. either we're way out. though, you know what Jesus, I mean? Like that go. guy We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Um, I really hope you guys are looking forward to the Texas Chainsaw game. Okay, so... Going back to the tarot card reading, does that mean you can actually evade that from happening? I thought it was, like, destined to happen oh, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um... Uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and... They made sure the gun was loaded, right? Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. It giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in. Um, God, wait! Why did it spin me around like that? Music. We're walking like, this way, right? What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Am I walking you know, the wrong way? You seem like a science guy oh yeah i mean you know not not here um oh 
my god. That monster! Oh, yuck. Also, was that supposed to be the boyfriend from the beginning? I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. So no, I don't think it was. By this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home. And then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out <laughs> of here, Ryan. True, I agree yeah, with I that. I like him. He's, that makes a lot of sense. You know what? After seeing that thing, a bear would not be that bad. Ew, that looks so creepy. Ugh. Heck to the no, baby! Uh uh uh! Uh uh uh! <laughs> oh god. All good? No. Uh, let's be confident, why not? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's, Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So I think the range is about a mile. A mile, bro. What the hell? Will be nice. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. <laughs> Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Does smack. We're gonna have it's to crawl to be, uh, signal on top of that it's thing. Janky looking, but and I'm scared. It's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing. Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so um, you know we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but 
Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. It very much is urgent. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good. That'd be me. Swarm of bears. Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. Reassuring concerned. Concern. Holy shit, they're talking about us. I mean, who else would they be talking about? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's. Let's go find Caitlyn and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. That thing's out there. You saw it. You literally saw it. Why isn't he telling him? Oh, it's so scary. It's literally so scary. Apologetic. I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. They locked the door? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. What was that? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, well, at least shit. we're all together. They're toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. No. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! At least Nick can walk. Oh, fuck, dude. 
They're gone. Desperate, aggressive. Ah! Uh, anything we can do, we gotta kill it. I think we gotta kill that... You know what. Well, let's see if there's anything we can do first. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Oh man, I don't know. Is that gonna actually come back to bite us? I mean, it's worth a shot. Do it. We don't even know how many of them there are. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um, oh, scared, baby. Come on. It's almost... Urgent, calm, take a breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh crap! I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. Oh god. Okay. It could have been worse. Right? What is this? Take it stop! What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Fucking spread it, you have to cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! Desperate. Fuck! Okay, 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 just just hang on, hang on. Oh my god, a chainsaw? No. Neither. What the heck? Uh... We only have limited ammo, so I guess let's do chainsaw. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Just fucking do it. This seems like a horrible idea. Uh, 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 Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. God, that's awful noise. That's oh, that really creepy speaker. too. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work. We Dylan. did it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, um I just realized my thing ran out of space. So, I'm going to pause this one right here, guys. Um if you liked it, leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to get back onto it right now and We'll start working on part six.
Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or concerns, please feel free to let me know below or message me. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I will leave my Patreon down below if you want to join. And yes, I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.